Hi everyone, welcome to the video lecture series of Drilling Engineering. Today we are going to see the part 4 that is the last part of this chapter, Circulation System and Drilling Rates. Now, circulation system uh, is used for circulating our mud. But why do we need mud? Uh, why do we need mud at first place? Okay, see, let's see that. These are the few functions mentioned uh, of, of the drilling mud we use. The first one is very important that is the over to mud is used to overbalance the formation pressure. Now what actually happens is as we are going deep inside the earth our pressure is increasing because with depth pressure in, uh, pressure also increases. It's simple physics we use the formula P equals to rho g h where P is directly proportional to our h. h in this case is our depth of the well bore. Okay so as we are going deep inside the earth our pressure is increasing. So when we when we drill these highly pressurized rocks what happens is that oil and gas will try to come up the surface obviously because any fluid travels from high pressure to low pressure now in this case high pressure is at the bottom of a drill bore and uh, the uh, our lesser pressure is at the surface so our oil and gas will come up will try to come up to the surface with a huge amount with a huge pressure so it can be it can cause a lot of uh, destruction which I'll show you in uh, in in a video. Let okay. Let us see the video first. What can happens if oil and gas uh, pressurized oil and gas come to the surface? See this video. Okay. <laughs> these type of destructions we use drilling mud now how drilling mud uh, counterbalance this pressure and uh, doesn't allow oil and gas to come up because the drilling mud uh, at the depth of at some at some depth there will be a hydrostatic pressure of drilling mud as well that is again rho g h where density of uh, rho is density of mud or density of fluid and uh, h is again the depth of the well bore in at which our uh, bit is present okay now second function is to cool and lubricate the mud sorry to cool and lubricate the drilling bit see a drilling bit is doing our main function to drill the holes and rotating continuously okay so we need to cool down that machinery in order to uh, prevent damage to drill bit now uh, there's a there's a very old story uh, uh, in us in 1900s uh, some people used what they did was uh, they watered a field and they ran and uh, they ran a group of animals from this field as a result a lot of mud was produced and they used this mud to cool the drill bit so this is where our uh, drilling fluid which is also known as drilling mud uh, gets the name okay now the third part is third function is these drilling muds are used to carry the cuttings up to the surface now what are the cuttings Cuttings are nothing but the small pieces of rock which are being drilled. See, as we are drilling, our drilling bit is drilling. Our rock is cutting in. Uh, our rock is getting cut into the pieces, right? So these pieces of rocks are coming up to the surface with the help of, uh, with the help of uh, drilling fluid. How this? Uh, I'll explain in a bit that how this uh, cuttings are coming up to the surface. You can see here uh, this this image. What is happening here is that drilling mud is coming from the drill pipe drill pipe this is a drill pipe hollow drill pipe mud is coming now in uh, this is a drill bit in, in drill bit there are small small nozzles like drill uh, drill mud is coming from drill pipe to drill bits and through these nozzles mud is again getting in the envelope this is known as envelope envelope is nothing but a space a space between the borehole and a drill pipe so through these envelopes, our drill cuttings are going to the surface. Okay. Now, the uh, another main function is that the drilling mud maintains the well integrity. Now, what exactly is well integrity? See, uh, suppose uh, see this this figure. Okay, this figure right here. This one. This figure. In this figure, this is a hollow pipe shown here. Right, hollow pipe. Nothing is inside the pipe, and we are applying a lot of pressure. 
we are applying we are applying a lot of pressure here in the sides of this pipe what will happen is that due to excess pressure this hollow pipe will collapse this is the collapsed pipe so similarly if drill mud is not present inside our uh, drill, drill mud so if 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 our mud is not present inside our drill hole drilled hole and there is a lot of excessive pressure coming uh, coming from the sides to the well bore it will eventually collapse so drill mud also prevents this collapsing now okay now let's see how the mud travels what is the journey of mud, mud from where it uh, comes and where it goes okay so okay let me explain it to you by this figure over here. this is this is the basic block diagram of a circulation system in rx now mud actually mud is pumped from a mud pump which is shown here this is a mud pump now this mud pump is pushing our uh, pushing our mud through surface lines to the stand pipe here it is a stand pipe here it is a sand stand pipe now from stand pipe it goes to rotary hose and rotary hose to swivel now main function of rotary hose is here is that it connects the uh, stand pipe to the swivel so that our highly pressurized mud can uh, come to the kelly now through this swivel mud is going to kelly and from kelly it is going to uh, sorry it is going to the drill pipe and drill bits now see this one this is mud coming coming down there and going to the envelopes going from envelopes here now how when it reaches the surface it crosses the bop and above bop there is a this one there is a hollow long casing pipe known as a so not casing pipe a piece of pipe known as a bell nipple this bell nipple the main function of this bell nipple is to connect the flow line this is a flow line now what flow line does is that it takes the mud from envelopes it goes to the bell nipple and from bell nipple it goes to the flow line and then it travels to the shale shaker d sander d shelter okay now what the shale shaker d sander d shelter are they are nothing but they are used for conditioning of mud what do i mean by conditioning is that they clean the mud okay the shale shaker are nothing but the vibrating screens which actually uh, filter filters the rocky part that is cuttings and separate it from the mud it uh, it takes the uh, shale part shale means rock parts and it uh, transmits mud again to the descender descender again filter the sand now from d sender it goes to d filter it filter d filter filters the silt now basically there's a difference between uh, shale shaker d sender and d filter is that the size of uh, material they are filtering like shale shaker is filtering a bigger material d sender is filtering the sand which is a smaller smaller uh, smaller particles than the shale or rocks material which was filtered by shale shaker d filter is separating the tiniest of uh, particles present in the mud then from d filter it is going to d gasser which is actually uh, elim elim eliminating the gas any amount of gas uh, present in the mud and this d gasser then connects to mud tanks used to store the mud and then these mud tanks these mud tanks are again uh, transfers the mud to our mud pumps and the whole cycle continues again so this is the basically a uh, whole journey of mud how mud travels uh, this comes from mud pumps and uh, travels all the way to the drill pipe and again comes to the again comes to the mud pumps now basically uh, there are two types of mud pumps which, which are being used in industry uh, duplex pump and the triple x pump now how these two pumps work we will be uh, creating a separate video on this lectures uh, sorry we'll creating a separate video on these pumps so uh, stay tuned and uh, Thank you so much. See you soon.